Okay, uh, uh, quick note, this is an easy wood project, doesn't, doesn't take a lot, but uh, it, I spent a whole dollar forty-eight on the materials that I needed for this, and they resell sometimes $30, $50 and up. The one I build, of course, is custom, which is what you should build. I, it's a wood project, but it's an easy one, but it makes, uh, it makes the little woman happy, and sometimes that's priceless. Right now, I need 25 and a half inches of good lumber out of this uh, lovely old board <laughs> we've got here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm looking at that. Don't want it. No, no, got knots. I like a, a fairly clear piece. This is uh, rough on one side. It's like that. It's an old board, but I can run the planer just gently over the top of this and clean it up. And I think it should look pretty good. We might have a mark here I might not be able to use. So, first thing I'm going to do is check for 25 and a half uh, up to this mark. Yeah, I have lots of room there. I'd like the board to be about two inches. So that's right about there. So we can cut the length first and then I'm going to cut the strip. It's just easier to deal with that way. So I'm going to cut this end off just to trim it so that it's a clean end because right now it's a rough cut on the end and maybe not even square. You know, a lot of times if you want to keep the end you could you know check it like this and see if it's square but it's not. <laughs> so I'm going to take this to the saw and we'll nip this off and we'll cut uh, then we'll cut uh, 25 and a half inches and then we'll cut that two inch piece that I want out of this uh, old board. You know. only need like six uh, studs, studs on this assembly but I'm putting on one two three four five six seven eight nine I'm putting on ten and you don't have to use them you know if you need a little space you can go to the next one when you hang your you know chef spoons or whatever you have and that's easier than not having enough so I'm putting ten in ideally probably eight is the most we, you know somebody might ever use but this will give us you know lots of uh, availability the uh, kitchen itself is wood based so all I'm going to have to do is put a screw at each end and just put a little finished screw that holds it to the uh, wall at that point after we sand and clean this up a bit. But first I want my holes and then we're going to get to the sanding. Let's do the holes. 
uh, call it the uh, jig of poor man physics. I've got a little board back here to raise it up so it's on an angle to the uh, drill. Got a little 3 8 fastener because I'm running 3 8 uh, doweling into these for pegs. And then I've got this uh, jigged off or just clamped I guess you could say. Oh, be good if the clamp would hold. Yeah, and clamp. And then that way I'm just going to run along like this. Away we go with the first one. go now it looks uh, looks pretty cool looks like a flute <laughs> yeah if I had a bandsaw I would cut two inch pieces of dowling three eighths for this particular project and I'm going to uh, probably grind each of these down a little bit so they're not round when I get done they'll be more of a sort of an oval peg uh, I guess we'll call it so we need a bunch of those so all right and this is for scrap for another day. Alrighty, or for the next uh, project, whatever that may be. <laughs> so now uh, we've got these uh, ten little pegs. Uh, we're gonna, you know, pretty them up a little bit just with the sander. So nothing too fancy. Just you know. Now what I did here was uh, just pretty them up on one end. Obviously this is where the glue is going to be going and they're going to be jammed in those holes. You won't, you know, see the rough edge or whatever. And now my favorite part. <laughs> just throw some glue in the hole. <laughs> in each hole. Oh yeah. Really don't need a lot of glue so I'm uh, overdoing this right now. Uh, just for dramatic reasons. Yeah, yeah, for drama. That's why I'm putting too much glue in these stupid holes. There we go. Uh, snap that down. Let that sit like that. It seals the glue and it'll be good for the next job. Yep. <sighs> Gotta love it. So now we're probably going to need a rag because we've got... See, yeah, there it comes. Yep. Yeah, I got a little too much glue in there. Oh, well. Yeah. This is actually a fun little project. I don't mind making a few of these because really uh, they're they're fairly easy and they're no really no brainer. But they're custom made to every kitchen. In other words, somebody else's kitchen might take a whole different you know rack or something. So that's why I say you could probably resell these on the internet and probably do pretty good with them. Take an old rough piece of board and lay it up like that. Okay, and we're just gonna like that. I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on all of them so they're all hitting this lumber and I'm also checking to make sure they're they're reasonably straight because I wanted a reasonably straight looking uh, job and I won't tell if you guys don't tell anybody I won't tell anybody how I did that and there I'll just let that sit up now and once that glue hardens uh, we can put a little bit of a finish on here and we'll have a, a pretty good looking job a little bit of urethane or some spray or whatever to finish it up and then we can punch the two screws in and uh, mount this in that kitchen and we have a nice rack to hang uh, utensils from once again uh, thank you for watching coffee and tools this week 
or well today I we put a video out every few days or as quickly as I can because I've got umpteen more projects waiting for me here this was just one that got uh, prioritized this week and so hey we'll see you in a few days and another wood project coming up oh, lots of crazy stuff including we still got to talk about that harbor freight clamp too with the uh, tack life saw but thanks for watching